you have no right to judge me. You have the right to kill me. You have the right to do that. But you have no right to judge me. It is impossible for words to describe to those who do not know what horror means. Horror has a face. Horror and mortal terror are your friends. For they are not your friends, then they are truly your enemies. I remember this time when I was in special forces. It seems like a hundred centuries ago. We went into this camp to inoculate the children for polio. And as we were leaving the camp, some old man came running up crying. He couldn't see. So we went back into the camp and they had come and they had hacked off every arm that we had inoculated. There they were in some pile, a pile of little arms. And I remember I, I, I wanted to tear my teeth out. I, I cried like some grandmother. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew that I didn't never want to forget. I didn't ever want to forget. And then it hit me. It hit me like a diamond bullet shot through the forehead. And I thought, my God, at the genius of it, the pure, simple, crystalline genius. And I knew then that they were stronger than we were. These men, these men were not monsters. They were trained cadres of men. They were men who had families, who had hearts filled with love. They had children. And they were good fathers and they were good husbands. Yet, they could still do these things, those things. You see, you must be able to separate your emotions from your primordial instincts to kill, to kill without passion kill without fear, without judgment, without judgment, for it is judgment that defeats us all. If I had ten squadrons of men like this, our problems over here would be over very quickly. I once saw a snail crawl across the edge of a straight razor. It reminded me of this war, so beautiful, yet so dangerous. That's my dream, that's my nightmare, crawling, slithering, 
surviving on the edge of a straight razor. The horrors.